All right, I watched three movies over the weekend, so I'm going to do three quick mini movie reviews. So I got two from John Wayne and one from Marilyn Monroe. So up first, we'll do John Wayne. This is a double pack. I picked this up from the Goodwill the same time I picked up Hatari. All right, so we've got two war films. One is They Were Expendable, directed by John Ford from 1945. I believe this is the first film John Ford directed after he was discharged from the Navy. Um, it might be the second. It was either this or My Darling Clementine. I'm not sure which one came first, but this stars uh, Robert Montgomery and John Wayne. Okay, Mo Robert Montgomery is the commanding officer. John Wayne is the executive officer, and they are PT boat skippers in the Pacific, specifically in the Philippine Islands during World War II. And uh, of course, right at the beginning of the movie, they learn that Pearl Harbor has been hit. And so they are trying to buy time for the United States Navy to regroup following Pearl Harbor. It's kind of a downer of a film because they're slowly getting pushed out uh, of the Philippines by the Japanese. There is a small love role or a, a romance involved between John Wayne and Donna Reed, who has a small part in this movie as a nurse. But, uh, you know, it's... It's pretty good. I enjoyed it. It's black and white. It has a lot of really cool model miniatures work done in it. And I think that the black and white really helps it. The action sequences in this are very well done. It's kind of like Top Gun, but with PT boats. The second film here is The Flying Leathernecks. I didn't find this as good as they were expendable. This one is directed by Nicholas Ray. In this movie, John Wayne is a... He's the exec or the, he's the commanding officer in this film, and Robert Ryan plays his executive officer. Uh, it's another film, World War II in the Pacific. This time it's Guadalcanal instead of the Philippines. And it's kind of the same thing. They're experiencing a lot of losses to the Japanese and um, kind of trying to improvise and keep their planes going and everything. Uh, it, the thing I think that's a drawback from this is that there's a lot of aerial combat footage that's like cooked into the movie. And so when it cuts from the actual film to the dogfighting footage or the uh, aerial battlefield footage, it sticks out. Like you can really tell because the footage gets grainy. It's got, um, it's not as focused. So when it switches back and forth, you're like, yeah, I'm watching combat stock footage now. Doesn't mean it's a bad movie. It's a good movie. I just don't think it's as great as this. I would consider They Were Expendable a great movie and Flying Leathernecks a good movie. I think that, uh, you know, they take what could have been just an average garbage throwaway movie. I think the material is elevated by John Wayne and Robert Ryan. So they really make the movie a lot better than it would have been otherwise. So check those out. Worth watching. The third one here I picked up from the library. I said I wanted to watch more Howard Hawks films. So I've done reviews for uh, Rio Bravo and El Dorado, which are both westerns. I haven't done Rio Lobo yet. I'll get around to that eventually. But Hatari, right? Like, I really like that. And I said, you know, I really need to check out more Howard Hawks films. So here we have a musical comedy starring Marilyn Monroe and Jane Russell. Gentlemen prefer blondes. And, of course, I think the big standout of this is the musical number, Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend. I think Madonna parodied this or paid homage to it in her video for Material Girl. And it's very clear to me that Howard Hawks would have made a great MTV music director because that sequence is really just, like, incredibly well done. I mean, it's it looks like an MTV music video, and this is from the 1950s, so... The guy was, he had an eye. He could have been a great MTV music director. Uh, this movie's Color from 1953. Um, like I said, it's a musical comedy, so there's a lot of musical numbers in it. I know that's not going to be for everybody, but I did find the film highly entertaining. And it was a lot of fun to watch. Jane Russell and Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe are friends in the movie. They're both entertainers. They get on a ship to sail for France. And there is a private investigator that has been hired by Marilyn Monroe's character's uh, fiancé. The father doesn't want her and his son to get married because he thinks she's a gold digger. Which she is. She's obsessed with bling bling. But uh, he's trying to get uh, compromising pictures of her so that he can, you know get the wedding called off and Jane Russell's character falls for the photographer or the, the 
the PI that's following her. There's one scene where, um, involving a stolen tiara, where Marilyn Monroe's character is supposed to be on trial, but Jane Russell switches with her, and so Jane Russell's doing a Marilyn Monroe impersonation, and she does a pretty darn good Marilyn Monroe impersonation, and I, I got a laugh out of it. I thought the movie was funny. Uh, it would be politically, ugh, excuse me, politically incorrect nowadays to portray women uh, such a way on screen, but I don't care. Um, I like this movie, so sue me. All right, that's it. Three minute, three movie reviews for you. I think all three of these are worth checking out. Um, I would definitely say they were expendable and gentlemen prefer blondes if you're not going to watch all three of them. Those two you should definitely watch. They're iconic. All right. Thanks for watching. God bless. Have a wonderful day.